Time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Strait Times of Singapore says Malaysia Airlines will cut 6,000 jobs. Wow. Passengers have deserted the airline after a pair of disasters this year. In March, Malaysia, Malaysia Flight 370 disappeared in mid-flight. Four months later, of course, Flight 17 was shot down over Ukraine. Malaysia's government wants to make the airline profitable by the end of 2017. The San Jose Mercury News says Apple confirms a big event next month. The invitation says, wish we could say more. It will happen September 9th in Cupertino, California. Apple is widely expected to unveil an iPhone 6 with a much larger screen. I know a lot of people want one of those. It may also debut a wearable gadget. They're saying, I watch, maybe? Yeah, they were saying it could be a watch, and it could also be something to measure biometrics, like our health stats all the time. Very nice. Whatever it is, Vanita, there will be a long line. I figure that's where Charlie is right now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> line the Los up. Angeles Times says oil and gas leasing will resume in California after a new fracking study. A government report issued yesterday found little evidence that fracking is dangerous. Critics contend the process is a danger to the environment and public health. And the New York Times says U.S. intelligence and law enforcement agencies identified nearly a dozen Americans who have traveled to Syria to join the terror group ISIS. A new online video shows brutal tactics by ISIS. The clip said to show militants marching captured soldier, soldiers through the Syrian desert in their underwear. The soldiers are later seen dead. A monitoring group says 150 were killed.